G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. I've been away on holidays for a couple of weeks so we haven't had any videos, but today's episode is a catch up on what we've been doing with my paid work on the barn conversion. That's the door infilled in the bathroom. We'll put another bathroom window in here. Shower in the corner, vanity, blue, and that'll be that. So we've got the scaffold up there now, and we're starting to double up on these beams. Um, we've just got to strengthen them. So you can see there, maybe, I've added a second beam. We're going to run that all the way through. Um, we've got these plates I've made up, these T plates, and they're going to connect all that together and I'll replace this to add a bit more support and then we'll double beam through the middle here. Next part of the process here is to take out these big doors, but we need to make up a uh, steel structural support before we do that. So Martin's just going to weld one up. You set the house on fire, Martin. No, I didn't. <laughs> So we've knocked the doors off the front of the building, the big barn doors, and we're putting in a structural steel support, a uh, 89 by 89 steel post that Marchin welded the uh, cleats and stuff on the top and the bottom. It's all squared up, screwed in at the top, ready to go in at the bottom. This front corner section, we're putting a triple stud through here. And up there we'll run the beam across, fold it in there, and then the same on that side to a triple stud there. Uh, these are hardwood studs. They're 100 by 50s. They're pretty strong. That'll take that beam over the windows. There we go up there. The beam all in. Post. That'll take the load of the Two windows that go in here and here. Engineering specified that these all have to be noggined and uh, reinforced to take the new loads of the walls. Starting to wall this wall out. Um, the windows are up there as we've pointed out many times. So I've left this gap here. We've got to load in all of the timber and stuff that's going on these walls and the ceiling, the lining boards. We've battened out this to get it all level put in some uh, noggins to brace the wall up. Done the same here, battened out the top section. Got to do the same here, put a couple of big hardwood posts in there, um, actually laminates. We've started doing it. You see there, we've laminated two together, just batten screwed them up. And we're slowly getting there with all the framing. Windows are ready to go in up there. So we are making progress, although it doesn't look like it. There's two ways to remove a bit of timber, the right way and this way. So there's the end wall, all finished uh, with the framing and the isolation on the outside. Uh, I'm gonna brace this on the inside. Um, I've still gotta build a little bit of framework in there and up there just to uh, close it in, brace it, and then we can fit the windows here and here. We've been through and done the first fit on the plumbing and the gas fitting for the bathroom and the kitchen. And with the electrical first fit in, we can start cladding.
starting to line out the walls. We put brace board on this end wall and the other end wall there to brace this little uh, room off the side and then villa board over the top. We've uh, taken all the cladding off there. We've just got to um, put these cross braces in, as you can see we've just done. And then uh, we'll size-elate it with the size-elation. So today we took this whole wall off, um, put the size-elation cross bracing on it and re-tinned it. So we've used the old tin on the side, so all the tin that came off the other bits, we've picked the best of it and putting that back on there. A bit of a cost saving but I also like the look of the old tin it keeps the character of the barn finally starting to put some lining boards on there that'll all be painted white bright white to reflect the uh, the light around the place just taking out this wall now we're going to insert the window do the uh, side isolation and put brand new tin back on the outside with that window inset there. We're making some good progress, got all that window in and the wall outside it reclad. Put these two windows in finally. We can start cladding up above them. Marching's just outside doing the last little bit of cladding and stuff up there. So this little entrance hall here is clad now. We've put the um, Fine lining boards, the VJ boards up the uh, wall and on the ceiling there. And the villa board on these two walls. Put down here. That's that bathroom wall all lined and finished now. Ceiling's all in. So this is getting pretty close to uh, having the floor put in and the streeting done so we can start on the waterproofing in here. Bit of a mess with my tools and things everywhere, but uh, you get the idea, it's starting to come together. The windows along the tops there, and uh, those larger windows there and there. And then the steps going down into the uh, bathroom and the entry foyer. Well, that's it for this episode, folks. Tune in for the next episode where we finalise that whole barn project and you get to see it finished. See you then. <laughs>